Today's Sunday, the day before the biggest Monday of all of the fashion year, the first Monday in May. It's the Met Gala. I'm here with my incredible makeup artist, Mel Inglesis, because this is the fashion prom. We're gonna test my look for tomorrow and really find exactly how we want to do my makeup. This year, I'm showing how to get my look before it hits the red carpet. This is how to get my Met Gala look. Um, I was supposed to get a facial, um, missed my facial, and also have been traveling a lot and slept with like a lot of makeup on my face last night, so my skin is not looking so good. Your skin so, looks amazing. No, I need a little love. Give me your magic. So, I mean, we're just going to start with a mask, which mm. is always a good start mm. of makeup. Power foil mask? Yeah. I always feel like on Met Ball Day, it's stressful, everybody's running around. It's almost like a wedding day. It really is. Just gonna do a tiny little bit of an eye cream. Mm. That's what I love. So it really kind of hydrates those like, there's a different kind of tissue um, on the skin under your eye versus different areas of your face. So this is specifically made for that. the eyes. Yeah. I mean, and that advanced night repair in a day also is good. This just uh, add radiance and moisturize the skin. Mm -hmm. I mean, look how glowy her skin is right now and it's really ready for makeup. I can feel it, it's not mm -hmm. sticky. One of the secret ingredients in the a &R is hyaluronic acid, which is really hydrating. And I used to say, oh, there's hydrochloric acid in a &R. and <laughs> And then they were like, no, no, there's <laughs> not hydrochloric. There's hyaluronic, very different. So since the theme of this year's netball is camp, which is basically excess and over the top, uh, and we're embracing that in both the dress, the fabric, and the jewelry, we really want the makeup to be a complementary kind of flawless, fresh, cool elegance, but nothing, nothing too much. Uh, we're gonna use a primer, just because, you know, as you said, it's gonna be all day and then all night, and a primer help the foundation really stays on in the whole makeup. And what I like about this primer, it's actually an illuminator. So it has a luminous feel to it. This is one of uh, my favorite foundation, Double Wear from Estee Lauder, that's your color. But I want it to be a little more um, luminous. So I'm gonna mix it with, Mac came with, with those Dazzle drops. So I'm gonna mix a couple of drops of this. Which is great because the thing about this is that I'm gonna be dancing all night long and this stays in place. You're like an alchemist. Yes. An alchemist. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. And with foundation, like, Kylie's skin is gorgeous. She does not need full coverage everywhere, so you can still see the skin texture showing through, which is really important for me. At the Met Gala, you have thousands of photos taken from every angle, mm -hmm. and it's super, super high definition, so you can see every makeup <laughs> brush, every, every, every strike, core, mm -hmm. every, you know, for better or worse. So if you're wearing too much makeup in the photos, it looks like it. So what I do now is with a little brush, I'm just gonna take some of the area that are a little redder. Mm -hmm. So around the nose, mainly, because what I don't want is to build a heavy coverage everywhere. Mm -hmm. But some places need a little more coverage, so it's like, spot conceal. Then I take a fan brush and I just go over some of the area that need a little more coverage. It's just a really lovely flawless foundation. What's important for me is a flawless mm. skin with no mark, no lines. no lines. You know what I mean? That's where Mel's magic really is. So we're going to do concealer now. So I'm going to use a flat brush for my concealer to really target it where I need it. People are tempted to get red mm -hmm. right here. So I take, I brush it out and always lift it out. The lead is to prepare it for the shadow. So we're losing that redness of the skin. So this is one of my favorite product. Ooh. It's Laura Mercier. Illuminating. The luminous. Super illuminating. And that is specifically mainly for under the eyes. Oh good. Just press it on and you just lift it up. Yeah. So we decide on a sun-kissed look, right? Mm -hmm. But I don't want it to be too heavy, obviously. Yeah. So I'm gonna use the same foundation we used earlier, mm -hmm. but I'm gonna use a darker shade. Don't be scared. Okay. Okay. And I think with cream, you can be a little more playful. Mm -hmm. It just warms it up and brings a little definition to the face mm -hmm. very lightly. One of the thing with Carly is I love her little beauty spots. Mm -hmm. So I always, bring it back 
No, Mel, I love that you always I always do it. it. I always define it back. And I love that because it's, yeah, it's authentically you. me. Yes. I don't know. It, instead of hiding it, you bring it out. Take whatever it is that is special to you and embrace that and build around that. Um, instead of trying to like be one idea of like the ideal beauty that doesn't exist anymore. I think it's all so much more about like just mm -hmm. accent accentuating your natural beauty. Your natural beauty. So now we go to the brows, which is also a trademark for you. You love a strong brow. Love a brow. It just you know work like this up. Mel knows me so well. She's done my brows a million times. You can do this in your sleep. Let's try to start working on the eyes. And see how we go. And I like to work with a lot of pencils. Easy to blend, yeah. easy, couple of steps. The strongest always go on the outer corner. I don't really want too dark on the inner corner. Do you want to keep the light there? Wow, you would think it would kind of make it look like I am tired under the eyes, but mm -hmm. it actually mm -hmm. opens up the eyes so much. See, now I'm looking at the eye shape. I wouldn't mind having a little bit of that brown color look straight mm. down low. Only just right there on the other corner to elongate the eyes a little. And I only went like a quarter in up to right here because I don't want to close your eyes by putting a darker color all the way down. So it's just really right there, working that color here. Even if you were to do your makeup and stop here, mm -hmm. I think this yeah. is a really good kind of subtle. Um, smoky eye to do mm -hmm. because so it just kind of gives a little bit of a pop so let's try this but I'm not married to this as a pop of fun on the inner corner only if we don't like it we wipe it out Ooh, it is camp do we want to have I mean I'm a sure more, that um, more is more is more I love the fresh chat the fresh lid the, fresh the lid. fact that there's no heavy makeup or shadow on the lid, on the brow bone. I think that makes it really youthful. Do we have the earrings here? We should maybe put those on oh, yeah. right now so you can get a feel for the color. Okay, so to get an idea of what I'll be wearing tomorrow, and without showing you my dress, uh, I'm going to be wearing these earrings along with lots of really kind of eclectic uh, rings. So, to give Mel a bit of a taste of uh, my my jewelry and how that might affect how we want to do makeup sure now that i see the earrings i'm really happy with the gold on the inner corner i think that picks up see now that i'm looking cool. at it with the earrings i'm thinking we should do bottom mascara mm. funny earlier i didn't okay. now i'm like let's do a little bottom mascara and then a little bit of sumptuous extreme so it's back and forth back and forth and damp. If you have too much product, it can be really clump, clumpy. So with the earrings, yes, it's helpful to have a little bit more definition. Definition. I'm gonna now do a highlighter. And so the matte powder is only gonna you're gonna be applied here. Gonna sometime with a flash on the red carpet. If this is shiny, it reflects and it looks like there's a big shiny spot. So this is an area that always has to be more or less matte. This is. What amazing, Ooh. because this is a powder from Estee Lauder that is small enough Definitely to be in those bags that nothing fits in, yeah. by the way. <laughs> Before you hit the red carpet, powder here, powder around your nostril, and powder here. <laughs> like... <laughs> So yeah, we're just going slightly I think it's chic. You know, we have, you know, it's an overall well-balanced look. We don't have a hugely strong eye or a hugely strong lip, but we have beautiful skin. We have a little definition on the eyes. We're picking up the color from the earrings and from your dress. I'm happy with it. I'm very happy with it. Yeah. Yeah. Can I do the yes, please. I think mean, she, she she looks chic. I love the definition under the eye. I think that really kind of opens it up. Makeup. With a perfect face. Everything tomorrow. We can kind of tweak tomorrow. But do you feel? I feel great. 
Two thumbs up? Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Okay. I'm really excited and also I'm really relieved that we're doing this makeup test today yeah. on Sunday. So I think we're at a good place. Guys, this will be my makeup for the Met Gala. And when you tune in tomorrow, you guys will be able to see a video uh, of the making of my dress. Oh, last thing we forgot, the finishing spray, right? We did forget. Let's do it right now. Set it and forget it. Mm. Mm. Oh, and the other thing we forgot, woo, woo, don't forget to subscribe. Bye.